guys, it's Zane on the ACDS channel back again and today we're gonna have a look at uh, McFarlane Toys uh, Scorpion figure from the Mortal Kombat 11 game and here as you can see on the front nice window packaging and you can see all the accessories you see the face of Scorpion here and the name the Mortal Kombat logo on the top you have the Mortal Kombat logo it's not the Mortal Kombat uh, 11 logo though but uh, okay uh, here's a picture of the figure here's a product shot and they uh, they show him off with two ch uh, chains here but uh, it only comes with one but uh, yeah 22 moving parts yeah nice picture yeah that's it and inside you have this clamshell and if I can get it out here you also have this uh, cardboard <coughs> sort of backdrop piece there with uh, a stand uh, firmly via vacuum packed into it so yeah I'll uh, get it out of the packaging and I'll be right back so uh, this is how everything comes packed everything is secured with a piece of tape here and here and over the swords and yeah there's how everything is packaged. Now, <coughs> this uh, spare piece you can basically pull out as easy as that. And probably most of these other parts too. Yeah, like that. However, when it comes to the figure itself, it's really stuck in there guys so be careful when you pull the figure out I'm gonna take everything out of camera and I'll be right back yes I'm back and that was a struggle <coughs> so yeah here is everything out and uh, yeah uh, I'm gonna go through the accessories first I did a quick uh, testing on putting the short sword into the sheath there and this is so far I'm gonna try it again on camera I got it about down to there and it got really stuck so I think I'm gonna recommend some uh, hot water or something like that, a hairdryer maybe, if you want to put them all the way down, but as you can see, it should go pretty far down. And the same basically goes for the long sword. Uh, I got it down to about there and it got really stuck but uh, with some hot water or, or a hair dryer you can probably get it all the way down yeah so that's the swords and uh, here is this uh, spear <clears throat> this is some uh, flexible plastic but as you can see there is, is some paint and weathering here on the chain but yeah it's some bendable or some uh, soft plastic of sorts uh, 
the swords. If I can focus. Our painted silver that sculpted nicely, but I uh, think they could have blackwashed the handles. But yeah. That's that. And here are the two sheaths. Black plastic painted a little yellow. Got some scuff marks probably after being taken out of the packaging. But yeah, nicely detailed. And there's a hook system here. And uh, we'll get back to this. And of course you get the stand with a simple Mortal Kombat logo, peg, flat and <clears throat> you have peg holes in the heels of the figure but uh, they bummed out a little bit though because you sort of get the character covers the logo so they should have uh, either moved the peg somewhere else or put the logo somewhere else but yeah that's fine and uh, does it purpose now the figure Mr. Hanzo Hasashi it's uh Oh, focus. It's a damn beautiful figure. Done by McFarland Toys there. Nicely painted and everything. Nicely detailed layers and yeah. <clears throat> and <clears throat> the paint work is excellent. On the figure but uh, then we get down to articulation and uh, again some use of hot water or uh, a hairdryer is probably a good tip here but uh, they've done something fantastic that I've seen in 1-6 scale before with the head the hood is one piece and the face is another so you get some articulation in there it's on the face is on a ball joint so you can look up but the uh, hood itself is a little more limited though but uh, he can look up that's pretty cool there's a hinge system in the elbows there but it's tight guys, it's so tight that it's actually scary and uh, it's supposed to have 22 points of articulation too <laughs> so yeah but that's how far up I can get the elbow joint there's a swivel here between the bicep and the shoulder and it work works perfectly the elbow is double jointed, but again, oh uh, yeah, it went there. you can get it to about there. So that's pretty good. And there's a ball hinge for both the uh, and the wrists and the elbow uh, and the ankles. Uh, so you get the in and out. You can rotate and get the up and down. Perfect. Um, there's a cut here in the upper torso section and I um, assume it's going uh, it's supposed to be a articulation point but as it's uh, hindered by the outfit because uh, the outfit is hard plastic maybe if you again hair dryer and heat up the entire figure 
you can probably get a crunch out of that uh, joint in there. I see it it moves but uh, the outfit and down in the waist area there is a ball joint you get the swivel there and some bending backwards and forward so yeah works nice these pieces again it's uh, borderline hard plastic but with some hot water or a hair dryer you can probably make them more flexible but you can get the uh, figure to kick out to about there forward and backwards to about there maybe a little more if you force it but be careful as you can see the you need a hair dryer to make it look really good um, there's a nope no swivel it's a universal joint there's a swivel however at the knee joint here tight as yeah and there's supposed to be a double jointed knee uh, can get you this far and as mentioned ball hinge at the ankles so you get the in out or and the uh, ankle rocker if you can work the work the hinge seals on both sides and you get the toe articulation so yeah that's the scorpion figure let me put on the extra pieces and complete the look yeah and here is the figure on the stand with the chain effect as you can see here <coughs> and you can of course balance the stand uh, depending on the pose but you can get the figure into a running pose if you want to without a problem like so so the stand supports the figure very well and you to put on the chain effect you just simply slide it in like this and there you go now uh, <coughs> he holds its, his uh, swords perfectly well and that's not the problem the issue I'm having is the swords uh, going into the sheath other than that uh, yeah I needed uh, to use a hair dryer to put in the short sword sheath uh, uh, on the sides there there are two plugs for the big one and one for the little one and yeah that's that <coughs> the figure it's uh, I think it's nicely engineered it has some good art articulation but uh, out of the box the joints are super stiff and uh, yeah it's a nice Mortal Kombat 11 figure and it's a nice effort by uh, 
Maxellan Toys. They have released uh, both uh, Scorpion and Sub Zero. Uh, I'll be reviewing him next. So, uh, yeah. I'm not sure if uh, these are all the characters uh, McFarlane Toys are gonna do, but uh, yeah, that's that. If I can come back on the stand. So, yeah, that's my review on the McFarlane Toys uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Scorpion figure and uh, yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up uh, if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and uh, as always go nuts in the comments and I catch you on the next one guys bye bye